Hi everyone and welcome to the third day of my event featuring Hero Arts products. For my card today I am going to use this stamp set by Hero Arts which is packed with uh, tiny little cards and uh, also there are matching ties that you can get. There are 10 different designs of cards in this stamp set but depending on whether you have a cat or a dog you can get uh, a similar stamp set by Hero Arts full of dogs. So you can uh, recreate the design that I am doing uh, today based on your own pet or your recipient's pet. I have started by stamping three cats and I have also stamped a football, a little mouse as well as a spool of thread. Now if you have already noticed I used uh, Toxido Black ink by Memento to stamp all my images which is going to make sure that uh, I am not going to smudge or smear anything now that I am using my alcohol markers. And what is great about these designs is that you can really customize them and you can uh, color them based on your own pet or your recipient's pet. And that's the exact same case if you are using the dog's uh, stamp set. Now, as you can see, I am uh, using uh, oranges and yellows since I am basing the colors on my own uh, ginger cut. And then I am going to use the matching dies to cut out everything. Notice that I forgot to color the tiny little images, but I will do it later on. So I'm going to run them through my Sizzix machine and everything is cut out now. Now I am going to work on this white panel and uh, I am going to stamp uh, three tiny little images from the same stamp set. I'm going to use three inks. They are all very pale colors since I want my background to be very subtle. And uh, so I am going to stamp the spool of thread with uh, pale yellow. And I'm also going to use pale blue and pale green for the rest of the images. So I'm spreading uh, that uh, image all over uh, the paper. And now I'm going to move on to the next one. And this is the food uh, bowl of my cat. So I'm going to stamp it in between the empty areas. And then I will go ahead and do the same thing with the last image, which is a little mouse. And this is really a great design if you have a stamp set that has a tiny little images to create your own pattern paper that matches perfectly your focal points. And you can go as vibrant as you like. You can even use um, tone on tone based on your cardstock or you can even uh, emboss it. So here is uh, the final outcome. And now I'm going to go ahead and use this die, which is a die that cuts out three windows. And um, I'm going to place it on top of my panel and run it through my die cutting machine. I'm just making sure that I place it uh, nice and straight. And once I remove the die, you will see that I get three windows with flaps on top. Now I want to add a notch at the very bottom of each flap which is going to help the recipient to open up the flaps easier. So I'm going to use a punch and I'm going to punch out just a little bit at the very bottom of each flap. And now I'm going to embellish those flaps. So for each one of those uh, flaps, I'm going to stick on top with a foam square, a tiny little image, which is actually one of those images that I used to create my background. So on the first flap, I added the mouse. On the second one is the bowl of food. And on the third one, I'm going to add the spool of uh, thread. Now I'm using a pencil to mark where these windows are going to fall on my base panel and uh, I'm going to use some tape at the back of my cuts and stick them just where those windows will fall. And as I'm doing that, just to remind you that you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today down below in the description area as well as on my blog. I'm also making sure that I link to more than one online stores. So don't forget to check out the prices before you get anything. Now I'm going to use my eraser and make sure that I remove all those pencil marks. 
And then I grabbed my foam tape, I'm adding some at the back of my panel and I'm also going to make sure that I add enough uh, foam in between those windows to have enough support. So now I'm going to peel off the backing and then stick that on top of my panel, making sure that I align the windows with the cuts nicely. And I will go ahead and prepare the sentiment. I am preparing my black cardstock with uh, embossing uh, tool, which is going to remove static electricity. I am going to stamp the sentiment with uh, Versa marking. And the sentiment says, uh, lazy days are the best. And this is why I chosen from all the designs of those cards, only those that they are laying down. I think this is a card is so cute. So anyway, I am going to apply some um, white embossing powder and I'm going to heat set my cardstock. And then I'm going to cut out the sentiment and actually create a fish tail. And there are many options on adding a sentiment in this card. Since uh, the background is so subtle, I could have just used uh, black ink and stamp my sentiment directly on top of my panel. But I decided to go with um, white uh, sentiment on top of black because I think that it is a great uh, design element for my card with that contrasting color. And I am using foam scores at the back and then stick it directly on top of my card front. So now my panel is ready. I can open up the flaps and take a look at those cute little cards. I think that's an adorable card. Now I am going to stick that directly on top of my card base. For my card base I have created a top folding one that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And just because I can't leave a card alone, I am going to add some uh, glitter on top of those tiny little images on each and every one of those flaps. For that I am using my Nouveau glitter pen. I don't know if uh, the camera catches the light, but it really makes those images shiny. I'm going to try and catch the light for you once more and hopefully you can see how shiny they are. So that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card that I made today.